First, though, straight to those live pictures from historic launch pad 39A. In just hours, the same spot that sent a man to the moon will mark the start of a new era in human spaceflight. Tonight, the rocket is vertical, the crew is gearing up, and the fans are getting ready for an event the Space Coast has not seen in nearly a decade. This is News 6 at 11, getting results. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tonight, we have team coverage on the crowds expected and if the weather will affect the launch. But first, we start with News 6's Eric Sandoval in Cape Canaveral with everything that's at stake. Tonight, NASA says the astronauts are getting as good a night's sleep as they possibly can, knowing that just in about 24 hours, they could be orbiting the Earth on their way to the International Space Station. That is, if the weather cooperates. Late Tuesday afternoon, NASA raised this SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket vertical on historic launch pad 39A. It's a signal all systems are still go for launch on Wednesday, but with caution. We have to make sure that we give permis permission for people to say no. And I've been doing that all along. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says weather conditions are the biggest obstacle right now. He says they will not launch if sustained winds at the top of the pad are more than 30 miles an hour, if there's wind shear above the pad, if there's lightning, and if there's a thunderstorm within 10 miles of KSC. Right now, there's still a 60% chance for good weather. I texted Bob and Doug yesterday, and I said to them very clearly, if you want me to stop this thing for any reason, say so. Um, I will stop it in a heartbeat if you want me to. Um, they both came back and they said, we're go for launch. Brevard County officials put up orange fencing along the median of the beach line, warning people this is not the place to watch the launch. And the Federal Aviation Administration issued strict flight restrictions, prohibiting any aircraft within 30 nautical miles of the Space Center. Violators could be detained and charged. Now here's the game plan for tomorrow. NASA says the astronauts will get up at about 9 o'clock in the morning. That's when they're going to eat breakfast and have their medical check. Then they will get their weather briefing at 1220 tomorrow afternoon and they will depart for the launch pad at about 230. Of course, liftoff for that Falcon 9 rocket is scheduled for 433 tomorrow afternoon. We're in Cape Canaveral tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6.